Using Israeli flags, two Jewish Columbia University grads surreptitiously entered the pro-Palestine camp on campus and charged demonstrators with supporting radical Islamic terrorism. When Isidore Carton and his friend Tomer Brenner entered the encampment on Tuesday afternoon, they also brought a poster featuring images of Israelis who had been abducted on October 7 by Hamas. Protesters confronted them and demanded that they leave, but they refused and staged their own counter-protest in the campground for several hours. Both declared that university administration ought to disband the camp right away and charged pro-Palestine campaigners of instilling a sense of insecurity among Jewish students. For almost a week, the camp has been established on Columbia's Upper West Side Campus South Lawn. Pupils taking part in the action have said they won't leave unless the university promises to stop making any investments related to Israel. The encampment of about 100 tents has remained firmly in place despite the fact that NYPD police invaded the ground several days ago and arrested over 100 students involved in the protests. Students have led shouts such as, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, which Jewish organizations claim is anti-Semitic and called for an intifada, or revolt. Many of them are dressed in kafiya headscarves and face masks. After graduating in 2023 from architecture school, Carton stated, what they are really doing is supporting Hamas. They are endorsing terrorism carried out by extremist Islam. We are seeing the flags and the symbols that are all about causing maximum violence for Israelis, said Brenner, 29 a Tel Aviv native and 2020 graduate that they're making into fodder related chants. We don't understand why they aren't being removed from here by the administration. He asserted that some students had yelled burn Tel Aviv. The two claim to have entered the campground covertly. It has entry points supervised by activists and a fenced perimeter. They said that students who supported Palestine had encircled them and told them to leave, but both of them refused and conducted their interviews within the fence. We were encircled and blocked by everyone because, heaven forbid, anyone should see an American or Israeli flag or posters of the hostages, who were taken hostage by Hamas on October 7, Brenner remarked. Although they say it's a safe place, it's only secure for them. Carton reported that he saw a Jewish person instructed to go back to Poland while they were wearing religious insignia. It's not just about Israel, it's about the Jews, he declared in reference to the camp. I don't think they should be here, I'm very against what they are doing here. I have seen people here supporting Intifada, they are screaming for Intifada, he said, adding that the demonstrations and the camp were infringing on other people's right to an education. He declared that both the university and the campsite are not safe places. He declared, this is horrible what they are doing, in reference to the camp. It is inappropriate for them to be present. People are feeling unsafe because of them. Carton responded, I can defend myself, when asked whether he felt unsafe. Why are there people here supporting terrorism and nobody is doing anything about it, he continued that I regret to inform you that I received my Columbia degree. They ought to be taken into custody. We are being pushed, blocked, and surrounded by individuals who are ordering us to leave. In support, a few Jewish students have moved into the encampment. While Brenner and Carton were speaking, Jared Cannell, a Jewish student inside the perimeter who declared his support for the cause, came up and said, I don't want him to speak for all Jews. Cannell declared that he agreed wholeheartedly with the protest group's demands that Colombia pull out of Israel. However, Cannell also called out the university administration, highlighting the criticisms leveled at them by both sides for the way they handled the protests. One of the most significant experiences of my life has been this, Cannell remarked. 